What's up, y'all? This is Osiris, the PC Pimp. Today, I have a quick uh, application I want to bring to you guys who game and stream. It's a very useful app, and uh, I think you'll like this. It is called Chatty. Let's do this. So here we have Chatty. I'm not gonna. Uh, this is not a tutorial on how to get it set up. It should be pretty straightforward on how to get it set up. Uh, but if you guys need me to make a tutorial on how to get it set up just let me know in the comment section and i will do that but let's take a look at the features of chatty today so as you can see chatty is a chat window obviously now what this does is this uh will allow you to get into your twitch chat so this is my twitch channel uh osiris up here you can see at the top pound sign osiris and these are the people who are in my channel but since i'm not streaming there's nobody there but me so why would you use this? You would use this because the Twitch dashboard sucks. And it's a, little, it's a little bit more compact than a website. Uh, than the, the web using it through the browser is. So let's, let's look at some of the stuff. So if we go to view, you got channel info. This will tell you if you're online or offline. It'll tell you what you're playing and who's viewing your channel. Uh, so that's your, very useful. If you go to view channel admin this is where you can change the title of your stream right here this is the title of the stream and then you can select the game inside of here this uh, this database will match the database of games that are in twitch so let's say torchlight 2 I put torchlight with a number 2 let's hit search but it's actually uh, Roman numeral 2 so you just hit that and hit ok and it will it'll match it up so everything will be uh represented in uh inside of your twitch channel let me bring up the dashboard so i can show you that so twitch dashboard so as you can see torchlight 2 and here's the title so pretty straightforward all right that is the channel admin window. You can also do commercials here if you're partnered. Uh, you can, okay, but yeah. So you also have favorites. So these are the people that I favorite it. Uh, you can join their channels automatically through uh, Chatty. So this is useful if you are just watching in channel two. So I can, I can join blind run gaming channel i know he's live just by clicking that it's going to give you a little warning about something so i'm in blind run gaming's channel so yeah what else is there there's live channels these are the channels that are live that i'm subscribed to i mean that i follow <clears throat> so if we click on streamer house see as you can see there's a graph here just like the channel info for your channel he's playing grand theft auto 5 uh, he was at 1111 viewers and went down to 1093 and this is the long ass title of his stream for some reason but it doesn't matter um, if you right click you can just go to their channel by joining so let's see join so look at he's got all these people in his channel and as you can see chats moving along Things are happening, and this is what it would look like if your chat was filled. So, let's close that. Close that. And I don't know what the address book is quite for yet, so we'll just skip over that. And if you want to join the channel manually, you just go to join channel. P put a pound sign, and then the name of the channel you want to join. So, like that, Osiris. Uh, the name of the channel you want to join is obviously the username of the person you're looking for. Now, if you don't want to use the Twitch website at all, they have what, something called a live streamer. That's a plugin for VLC uh, video player that will allow you to watch Twitch streams through VLC. And you can open it up from right here. You have standard emoticons as you would on the Twitch website. So like this. See? So that's my uh, channel operator icon. And there's a regular emoticon right there. Um, this will show you your followers in the last few days. I mean, your followers since you got on Twitch, actually. 
I believe. And this is a good way to manage to see how many people are following you and when they followed you, how many days ago. So you can get a record of how good you're doing. You have the exact same thing for subscribers. For subscribers, you obviously have to be partnered. And that will round out the features that I know of. All right. Now, what we want to do with this is get chat on screen so that people can see that you're not actually talking to yourself. Because that was kind of annoying, right? Uh, annoying. Well, when you when you push it to YouTube or something and other people see a video, you don't want them to think that you're talking to yourself. So it looks kind of weird. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to add a new source down here. Window capture. We'll call it chatty. And next to window, we're going to go down to the window chatty. And there you go. Now let me make this larger so you guys can see it. So if we're looking at chatty, what we're going to want to do is get rid of this menu system up here. And by doing, you just do that by scrolling there. Now we want to get rid of the user panel on the right hand side. So just scroll until you get to the white bar. I like to get rid of the white bar, so no bar. And then we want to get down where you enter the text. We want to get rid of that. So just scroll. Now this this window is too large for me uh, up here at the top. So I'm just going to type in some number and see if I like it. Uh, that was left pixels. Wrong one. Let's go to the top. There we go. Uh, about that much chat should be good, right? Yeah. And then you just hit OK. Now, if you look on here, now we have our window, but it's not transparent. So when you have a game playing in the background, uh, there'll still be this black box. To fix that, just go to Chatty, right click, Filters. Down here at the bottom, Add, Chroma Key. OK. Key color type, green, custom, select color. Pick the uh, the teardropper right here and so click on this background. Hit OK. It'll disappear, which is fine. Go to similarity and just scroll it all the way down to one. And smoothness, one. And contrast, I just scroll it up until you find where you like it at. So. Uh, it doesn't really, that's, that seems good enough for me. Okay, so now we have a transparent background. Now, now you can see on here that we have a background that's transparent. And this is the magic of chatty to me. So now you have the chat on screen, so if you push it to YouTube or you, you make a, a, a highlight reel and you're responding to somebody in chat and you didn't read what they said on screen, people can reference it right here uh, and plus people like to see their own name on 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 video so <laughs> there's always that that's it for OBS we just close OBS bring it back over here and there's not much else to it um, this is a very useful little application it is available under Windows and Linux and I think OS X um, it's just a little Java application, not hard to use and very useful for the live streamer. That way you can actually close all of the browser and just use this. So hopefully you find this uh, piece of information useful. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, who cares? But you can hit the dislike button if you feel if that what makes you feel better. Uh, if you want to see more content in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is Osiris PC Pip and I'm out.